Hi and welcome. Now, before I had my second kid, I was a little bit worried about having two kids and especially two under two, so two very young. They're about 20 months apart. And I made a video about my fears of having two kids and I wanted to go back and look at it and see if those fears were justified, if they were real, if they didn't happen. And also let you know about some of the surprises that I've had with two under two, some of the things that have been great, some of the things that have been really hard because um, it's really quite difficult. I'm not going to pretend it's not. It is really hard some days. Um, some days are a complete nightmare, but some days are also really beautiful. So I wanted to watch the video that I made. I'll put the link up sort of here of the original video. Um, and I'll put also the link down below if you want to go back and watch that full video. Now, my youngest one is now 10 months old, so it has been a little while. And I think it's good that I waited that long, actually, because some of the things that have been really hard and really good have happened in the last few months as he started to crawl and move around more. So I'll uh, keep you up to date on those too. All right, let's get into it. Let's watch this video together. So my number one fear is how much I'll miss spending quality one-on-one -on -one time with my toddler. So Haddon and I are home every day together. I'm a stay-at-home mum, so we spend all day doing things together and we feel really connected to each other. So I'm worried that I'll feel a bit disconnected from him and I'm worried he'll feel quite lost not having my attention as much as he normally does. Yes, that was a justified concern and it has happened a little bit. There is just less one-on-one -on -one time. It's okay generally when um, Lawson sleeps in the morning and then we have some good one-on-one -on -one time, but it can just be be a lot like with two kids and especially had doing a little bit of like the pushing and hitting at the moment so I do have the baby in my arms the whole time and Haddon can see that so there's just always someone else around and we've been trying really hard my husband and I to do some one-on-one -on -one special time with him and we do get a lot of one-on-one -on -one special time with him like honestly hours and hours every day but it is different and it has it has affected him a bit in a, in a not a good way like he's really feeling a little bit little bit lost even now and it's just something that we are getting used to um, and that is something that will happen when you have another kid there is just less time I'm also quite concerned about sibling jealousy so I have no idea how Haddon will feel about his new little brother and I'm not sure how I'll deal with Haddon feeling upset and jealous over a new baby they'll be pretty close in age about 20-21 months and my hope is that he's young enough for it just to become the new normal quite fast and he won't really think about it too much, but that might be very optimistic. I will be right back with the baby. You'll get to see my youngest one. <laughs> okay, meet my youngest son, Mawson. He um, had a little accident the other day, so he's got a little bit of a scrape on his nose, but very cute. And very into blowing bubbles and raspberries, so you might get a bit of background noise. Okay, we were onto the sibling um, sibling jealousy, and that is it is bad. Honestly, it is it is really bad. Um, I don't know if it's sibling jealousy so much as just toy ownership a little bit at the moment. Um, so my oldest one really doesn't like more than touching any of his toys, and he he um. gets really upset and does a little bit of like, physical pushing and stuff, which we are working on. So that is that is really tough. We didn't have too much of the Haddon wanting to be in my arms when Mawson was or anything. That was that was okay. And especially the the early stages when we had two, they were they were a dream for the first sort of two months. Um, my husband and I were like, oh, we are magic parents. We have no issues at all. Um, this thing about sibling jealousy, it's it's just a myth. And then it, and then it started to get worse. And then since Mawson has been crawling and he's gotten really fast, he can grab all of Haddon's toys. So that's, that's not fine. I'm not sure if that's really sibling jealousy. That's just sort of the fighting between siblings of generally of toys. Um, it's mostly toys. It's not generally much else. So that's, that's a pretty big challenge. All right, let's watch the next one. You want to watch with me? Yeah. Okay. Another thing is sleep deprivation. So I clearly, or well, actually not so clearly, remember the sleep deprivation of the early newborn days. I, I can't even imagine trying to be present and engaged with my toddler at the same time as being so extremely tired from being up all night feeding a newborn. So I, people do it, it must be okay, but I, I just can't imagine how it's going to be being so tired, but also having to be there and present for a toddler at the same time. Yep. Sleep deprivation, definitely a justified concern. Um, yeah, you get 
pretty tired. And I think it's also, <laughs> um, I think it's also that they sometimes, one of them will be up lots of the night, but then they'll sleep in. But then the other one is decides to get up at 5.30 in the morning. So one of them generally is either up at night or up early. So you are tired a lot of the time. I've managed naps in the afternoon pretty well, actually. So they've generally been able to have a nap at the same time in the afternoon that I've been napping a little bit as well. Oh, you put my ears. <laughs> not my, not, not my Do you want this one to play with? And then we also have done an overseas trip recently and the, the jet lag coming back has been pretty bad. Um, and that's been, that's been quite awful. But apart from that, it's, it's, been, it's been okay. It's not actually that much worse than just having a newborn, having a toddler and a newborn. You just, you sleep deprived. It's not too much worse than just having one. That's just a, that's just a motherhood thing. I think no matter how many kids you have, you're just going to be a little bit sleep deprived and you should try to work on some strategies that we're doing, going to bed early, having naps in the afternoon. All right, next one. I am a little bit nervous about having any trouble sort of with the feeding and sleeping because I know we've had, I did have quite a bit of trouble with the breastfeeding for a few weeks until it all sorted itself out. So the breastfeeding, not really any issues this time. Um, that maybe it's just luck of the baby or maybe it's the second time around is a bit easier. <laughs> well, be careful with that earring. Um, but yeah, the, the feeding wasn't really a concern. It was hard to do it with Haddon around, but we introduce a bit more screen time um, with my toddler around that time when he would watch um, TV generally when I all together while I fed Mawson. The tricky bit came along when Mawson was getting really distracted by anyone else in the room so I could only feed him in the room in a sort of room by himself generally lying down and that was really hard because Haddon couldn't do it. So he sort of had to watch TV by himself while I fed Mawson which I didn't love that much. I sort of had to shove him in front of the TV to feed my other baby. And that's not a really good feeling. So that was harder. And then I actually went a little bit earlier this time around. So hadn't I fed for a whole year, breastfed? But more so I switched to formula at nine months just because it was really hard to feed him by himself. It just was not sort of working that well. And he decided to get teeth and he was biting and it was just, I'd had enough. I'd also just, I'd had enough. Mm -hmm. I wanted my body back. I don't know if you have felt that or if you are about to have a baby that you, you may well feel it and that's sort of normal, but it'd been over three years I'd been either pregnant or breastfeeding and I just wanted my body back. I did not want to do it anymore. Um, so we, we started on formula and it's, it's been fine. It's been good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Another thing I'm worried about is feeling really rushed and not being able to enjoy those precious moments. So both the sweet newborn moments, the cuddles, the feeding on the couch, the hours of just staring at a sleeping baby that I had with my first. Yeah, this happened a little bit. Um, the, the contact naps, I remember when um, I had used to fall asleep on my chest in the afternoon sometimes and I just let him nap there and it was so sweet. Couldn't do that with Mawson. But it was okay, like there was just other moments. Um, so that was, I didn't, I didn't mind that as much. Yes, you do miss some of them and it's different, but it was okay. It was quite okay. And also, I don't want to miss out on the exciting toddler milestones and the exciting toddler things and cooking with Haddon in the kitchen and running around the swings and jumping in puddles. And I think it's going to be quite a juggle to be able to do both those things and also be able to enjoy both those moments because I don't want to miss out on those ones. And I want to be there and remember them and enjoy them. Uh, yep, life is really busy yeah it's really really busy i don't i'm not really concerned actually about missing the the toddler milestones or anything we still go out and do all those fun things just more than comfortable oh. okay, should i get you a snack okay we are getting a snack and then we will be back <laughs> you want the computer <laughs> i don't know if he wants it but he might want it are you gonna come get it or do you want to sit over there and have it <laughs> okay, so we still go out and do those things. We still go puddle jumping, still do trips and day trips. We just have another kid with us, which does make it hard and busy. And yes, sometimes you do um, feel like it's just too hectic to really enjoy those moments. But it's also extra joy sometimes because you've got two kids experience that, experiencing that thing. 
And sometimes for things like cooking with Haddon, I only do that when Mawson is asleep. And there's still times of the day when Mawson sleeps and Haddon doesn't, so we have those times as well. Yeah. And it'll keep changing. So I think it'll be different each stage that Mawson goes through. So when he couldn't move around at all, he was always in my arms or in the pram or something, or just lying on the ground, whereas now he's <laughs> crawling around. Um, so that's different as well. And then when he starts walking, it'll be different. And then he starts moving fast and being able to ride his bike with Haddon. It'll keep changing. Uh, so we still go out and do them, we still have those special times, but it is quite busy and sometimes quite complicated. And sometimes not as fun, honestly. I'm making two under two sound terrible. There is some really good elements, but it is hard as well. You ready for the next one? Okay. This next worry is a little bit different. So this is to do with my husband, not to do with the kids. So I'm quite worried about feeling disconnected from him because we're both just so tired and so busy. This has been fine. Um, yeah, no, it hasn't been an issue at all, which is actually amazing, isn't it, that it hasn't been an issue. And yes, we do have less time, and we knew that going into it, so that was an expectation that we had, that we'd have less time, and we just have to make, make it special. But we still have great quality time together. We do find little pockets of one-on-one -on -one time. Sometimes if my parents would take them or something, we will actually still go on a few dates, or we've done sort of evening dates after the bed, go, uh, children go to bed. So it's harder, but it, that was been okay. I don't feel disconnected at all. My last fear is about outdoor adventures. So my husband and I love the outdoors. We met hiking and we spent almost every weekend doing you know, hiking, rock climbing, skiing, kayaking, all kinds of things. And then when Haddon came along, we've still kept on doing those adventures. They have been a little bit different. They've been slower, not quite as frequent, but we have managed to do them. So I'm a little nervous that with two kids, it'll just get harder and harder. And I'm really scared that we'll just slowly stop doing them. Yeah, it's it has been harder. We have still done them, but we haven't done them that much. And it's a bit of a mixture of things. So Morton was born two days into the Melbourne's last um, COVID lockdown. So we're in lockdown for, well, I think two months after that. So we didn't do anything then, obviously. He was also really small. And then we did a few things over summer, but he hasn't spent that many nights in a tent. We've done a little bit of camping. And then of course, he's been too young to go into the bike wagon safely. So we haven't done any overnight cycle trips and now it is winter. But another thing is that we've actually moved house. So we went and house sat for three months and then we bought a house and moved house and then we've been to Europe for my sister-in-law's wedding. So there's been a whole bunch of things that have sort of been made life a little bit busier. But we have done a few and I actually, I don't have that fear anymore. I think we will still do those things and we've been doing more day trips and that's just the stage of life more day trips and more small adventures but no this this wasn't a concern that was justified we've still done lots of things which is great so that was good so those were the ones that i was concerned about now i want to talk to you a little bit um put the back of the baby's head in your room don't you <laughs> a little bit about the unexpected ones that i didn't know so seeing the relationship between the two brothers and seeing them be really really sweet to each other has been magical that's been so good so that was an unexpected bonus <laughs> i never had the fear of not loving my second one as much as my first and that hasn't been an issue at all like you just your love expands you love them both equally and that's that's just the magical part of i guess the human brain one thing though that has been not great at all is the i guess it's a sibling rivalry kind of the pushing and shoving from the older one to the younger one it's been really really hard and it's hard because you have to i guess almost side with the baby because they're young and they can't protect themselves so you, you do have to be the like you have to pick up the baby you have to remove them you have to protect them which is really hard because it feels like you're always saying no to your toddler um, as you, you know, protect your younger one. And that's been really, really hard. Um, yeah. What's something else that's been unexpected? I think just the pure busyness and lack of time because you don't have that sort of guaranteed nap window that you could do things or a guaranteed, you know, after they go to bed, there's just one of them, you've got to put two kids to bed, so it just takes longer. And there's been a bit of a sort of a sleep regression i think from my toddler since morse has been born or since all the moving i'm not sure what but there has been a little bit of a regression and it's just harder to put him to bed it takes longer there's also just a lot more mess from two kids 
So double the nappies, double the food cleanup. And also when your baby starts feeding, there's just food all over the floor, especially when they want to eat with it with their hands. So it just takes a lot longer to clean up everything. So my me time is sort of taken up a bit more with that kind of thing because you can't do quite as many of the chores with the kids that I used to do with Haddon. You can do some, but just because you do have to be a bit more watchful and then you have to have one in your arms and one running around. It's just harder to do those things, all of them, when the kids are awake. So I do feel a little bit time poor. <laughs> But you get the second beautiful baby. And I think each stage changes it and makes it different and better and harder in different ways. And we're just going through those phases. So it'll be really interesting to see, to have another watch of these fears, maybe when he is actually running around. So maybe in another sort of year or so, how much of those things have changed. Anyway, I hope you like this video. It was a bit of a ramble, but if you are about to have a second kid and have some fears and wanting to know what it's actually like, then hopefully it's been helpful. Um, I have a bunch of other videos generally on motherhood life and things. So go and have a watch them. Subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.